Change is inevitable. So your change can change. So for me, transformation is the choice to live life in a way that you never have. Live life in a way that you never have. So this is choices you're gonna be making. Live life in a way that you never have in order to create the life that you never had. Layman's terms, you want different? You have to do different. You're gonna make mistakes on the journey. You're gonna see those signs during your journey that say, you are going, like, dude, you better slow down. There's a, there's a hazardous, hazard up ahead, hazard up ahead, slow down. We learned a lot of new things on how to further our careers and our goals and inspirations. Okay. My own? I really loved um, his energy. Uh, it made me, it makes me feel like I speak more out in the community. Personal connections, you know, mm -hmm. life. Yeah, I felt, I felt more motivated and had, like my confidence kind of boosted up more. It was good, it was about mental health and it taught me a lot how to like accept people and agree the right way. No. I don't have to say thing about it too. Like I don't have to say the same, same thing about it too. Cause like I have friends with depression and stuff like that, and I'll be talking to them about it a lot. So I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. We provide all the support. We provide all the financial needs. Just get the students here. Whatever it is, let's just not talk about it. Cause we can leave here today and say, oh, that was a great picture. People like your pics. Two weeks later, we on to the next thing. and me and the color conference been pretty cool. Um, having a chance to let them get the college experience, walk around campus, select things that they want to participate in, as well as get ready for lunch. One of the things I'm really enjoying is the conversation that the moms are having. The moms come up and tell me how they enjoy the sessions and also provide feedback on how to make it better. So, so far so good. We just started, but it's gonna keep rolling and we, we're thankful it stopped raining. Marcus Sandlin, Wake Forest University. So, had a phenomenal experience here talking with the young um, young men um, at today's conference. I must say, I really was impressed with how engaged they were, how intentional their questions were, and how willing they were to participate. As we know, uh, many times we see students that are not willing to engage or are very reserved. But these students stepped forward, they stepped into it. As I challenged them, they responded with excitement and intensity. And so those are the skills that we know employers are looking for. Those are the skills we know that will separate our young men into being not just good individuals, but great future professionals. So I'm blown away by the work that's happening here, and I'm very excited and honored to, be able, to have been able to participate in today's conversation. So I look forward to future opportunities, as well as seeing what these gentlemen do with the information they're being given as they apply it to their future careers.